so the arch centre is in place as you can see set up on the centre marks on the centre to the centre of the piers here you can see some of the cutting has already been done with uh, just the top one there just to readjust and this is where we're setting them out again we're back to our setting out um, circle stroke squares uh, with all the increments that we used to um, cut all the timber profiles that are on the arch centre now uh, here you can see we've got screws on each corner and you can see that they are set up to accommodate the uh, buzzoir template and uh, again all we do is we just transfer that but we have to make sure that we keep it on the same line as where we set everything out so this is like uh, on the arch centre here ok so we keep everything to that and uh, that's where we're working out from See all these uh, courses numbered nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, etc. So they've all been cut using our little template and on our scaffold, mortar board, just been wetted. A bucket of water just for dunking the bricks because it's such a hot day today, and uh, we'll start shortly. This is the last three of the tight radius that have been marked. And the best way to do this, you can see, this is the uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth courses. So that's the seventh, eighth, and the ninth. And uh, again, you can see they've been marked all individually marked. Each one is slightly different to the next one. So there's no cut the same uh, that ever happens. And so the best way to make sure they don't get mixed up is to take this one, cut it, and then bring it back and put it back in exactly the same spot so you know exactly where each one goes. So to the right hand side we have the first six. We have uh, the Springer one that was cut um, uh, differently to the others. And obviously all the other ones have now been cut to wedge shapes. Um, the seventh one is now marked, ready to cut, but I'm now going to mark out this, the eighth one. So you can see here is eight, so I'm just going to move it into that position, just so it fits there nicely. And again you can see the screws that the buzzwire template will sit on uh, to get my marks, and I'm now going to mark eight. Starts with a stretcher. Mark with a pencil first. Obviously, this will be the same both ways. Again, we have to put a pencil mark there just so I know exactly where that has come to. And then, what we do is we score them with a nail so that when the cutter starts up, it doesn't blow the pencil dust off the brick. I 
I'll mark the front after I've done this. the other side. I'm doing the same way. I'm going to go back to there. I've got a bit of a little bit of tape off there. And to there. The top of that cap. So all I have to do is pencil to mark that one. ready for cutting. 